this is Raman. Welcome to another episode of the 10,000 Trade Show, where we are mastering trading and creating excellence through the deliberate practice and analysis of 10,000 trades. Today, we'll take a look at a bearish pennant trade setup. A bearish pennant trade setup is a continuation trade setup where we are looking to trade it in the direction of the previous trend. So in this case, we're looking for price to drop. So let's go on to the charts and we'll take a look at what a bearish pennant looks like and how do we trade this setup effectively. Hey, we're looking at a bearish pennant trade setup. This is New Zealand Yen one hour chart. A bearish pennant is a continuation trade setup. This is a bearish continuation trade setup and we're looking for price to drop after this. So generally we would see a move to the downside and then we see this conical shape formed, which is our pennant. So price starts to go sideways, but it's in this cone type of shape. So this is our pennant. So in this case, we're looking for price to break out of this pennant. Usually when price starts to coil like this, it will break out. Now we'll have to see which side it breaks out to. And in this case, we are looking for price to continue to the downside. So we're looking for a breakout to the downside. However, we do need to wait for the breakout to occur before we actually enter a trade. So this is our pennant formation here and we're looking at continuation of this trade to the downside. So once we see this, we wait for price to break out of this pennant here and we will draw the pennant by just joining these lines together. So we have a trend line here and we connect these tops here to make our pennant. So once we see that price breaks out of this pennant, we get this candle close here. We need to make sure price stays below this line right there. So in this case, we see price comes out and then stays below this. So this is an hourly chart for the last three hours here. Price stays below the pennant, which is a good indication that it's likely to move lower now. So we'll enter the trade right here after the price has stayed below the pennant. And then we continue on with our trade and wait for price to drop. Our stop would go on the other side because sometimes price can go back and then consolidate further. So we want to make sure we place our stop on the other side of the pennant. Once we enter the trade here, we wait as the price drops and then we see that price comes into our next support and resistance level here. So this is a good place for us to exit the trade. And also the rule of thumb is that in this type of a setup, the secondary move will approximately be the same size as the initial move. So that's something to keep in mind as well. So our criteria here is met. So good place for us to exit the trade. So just to recap here, we're looking at a bearish pennant trade setup. This is New Zealand Yen one hour chart and a pennant is formed by joining the pins here in the bottom by joining the candles together here. We get this cone like shape, which is our pennant. In this case, it's a continuation trade setup. So we are looking for price to continue in the same direction as the initial move. So our initial move is to the downside. We wait for price to come out of the pennant here. And once we see that the price closes below the pennant, this is a good place for us to enter the trade short. Our stop would go on the other side of the pennant here, and we stay with the trade as long as price is dropping down. And another thing to keep in mind, we are looking for approximately the same size move as that initial move here. And we see that once price comes into our support, we get a bullish candle close. So this is a good place for us to exit the trade. All of our criteria is met and we are out of the trade. From entry to exit here, we get 70 pips in our trade. So our profit is 70 pips or $700 if trading one standard lot. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you like this video, please feel free to share it with your friends and don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to the channel. That's it for today and I'll be back with another great episode next time.